Hello, this is Ray Snow. So this is basically a timer tutorial or an example of how to use timer in Java. I received a request for this and the game we will create this time is basically a cookie clicker clone. If you don't know what cookie clicker is, it's a pretty simple browser game that became popular several years ago. And what you do is basically clicking a cookie. So if you click cookie one time, then you can make one cookie. So like this. Hmm. But as you proceed, you can buy some items by spending cookies that you made. And uh, so for example, this castle, it says auto clicks once every 10 seconds. So you can buy this by spending 15 cookies. So if you click this, then uh, it's going to click this cookie automatically once every 10 seconds. So you can increase the speed of making cookies. Hmm. And so here I made this program. Very simple cookie clicker clone. And so if you click this cookie, then you can increase this. And this you can buy this castle. And then it's gonna click this cookie once every 10 seconds. Not exactly the same, but the official one has a lot more like content, like uh, more items and stuff like that. But basic mechanism is the same. And in this program, if you made a certain number of cookies, then you can unlock a new item. It says this item is currently locked, but if you made 100 cookies, then new item is unlocked. So this is what we are going to create. First, let's make a project. And I'm going to name this uh, simply cookie clicker, I think. And uh, let's make a class. And name this as a uh, maybe cookie main or something. And check here and finish. And delete this comment. Instantiate cookie main public cookie main. Okay, so first let's create this window. And I think I'm going to do it in a method called uh, create UI. So in this method, we're going to do uh, all those UI stuff. So first, use this JFrame and name this window and equal new JFrame. And import window set size and 800, 600. And then window set default close operation. And JFrame dot exit on close. And window dot get content pane dot set background color black window set layout and null Oops. layout and null and finally window dot set visible and true okay and so let's create this UI method from here, from this cookie main. Okay, let's check this. Okay, the window is created. And the next step is, so let's create this cookie. What we're gonna do is place panel around here. Also set the J label on, on the panel and also image icon of cookie. So J panel, cookie panel equal new J panel and import this and cookie panel set bounds and uh, set this number 100, 220 and uh, 200 also 200 cookie panel and uh, set back, background color 
Okay, let's set blue and add this panel to the window. Window dot add cookie panel. Let's check this. So now it looks like this. Then we're gonna place a cookie picture on this panel. So first we're gonna use this image icon. Name this simply cookie. We call new image image icon and uh, get class get class loader and that get resource since uh, we need to get a uh, picture and uh, let's leave it blank for now and import this and we're gonna make a resource folder from here and select the java build pass add folder and create new folder and name this uh, res and finish okay so res folder is created and here I prepared this cookie picture so like this and the size is 200 200 we're gonna drag this picture into this res folder and copy files so now cookie picture is inside of this res folder and so here so you're gonna type cookie 200 200.png so this file name here and next we're gonna create j button and name this cookie button equal new j button and import this first cookie bottom set back round uh, cookie bottom set focus painted false cookie bottom set border null button and uh, here set icon and uh, cookie mm. so with this line you can set this picture on this J button cookie button and so we're gonna add this cookie button to this cookie panel so cookie panel add a cookie button okay let's check this oops what PowerPoint exception so sorry three I misspelled cookie here so make sure <laughs> uh, not C O O C K I E but the C O O K I E okay let's check this again okay this cookie icon is displayed and uh, let's change this J panel to black mm. so looks like this okay then let's make this cookie counter uh, you can make this counter by using J panel and the J label so here J panel I'm gonna name this counter panel equal new J panel okay counter panel set bounds 100 100 and width is 200 and height is 100 counter panel set background color Maybe I should choose blue again. Mm. Counter panel and set layout. Mm. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use this grid layout and type to one and import this uh, because 
we're gonna use two labels for this J panel, counter panel. So right now it displays only one label, but if you got an item, then uh, it also displays this per second. So we're gonna press J panel here, and uh, on this J panel, we're gonna place two J labels. So like cookies and per second. So that's why I've set this grid layout as 2-1. Then add this panel to window. Counter panel. Hmm. And so we're gonna make uh, two J labels. But I'm gonna declare these labels here because we will need to access these labels from other methods as well. So J label and one is counter label and the other one is a par sec label and import this okay so let's initialize these two labels here counter label equal new j label counter label set foreground and this this is basically a font color white add this label to the panel counter panel dot add counter label and uh, parsec label equal new j label set foreground and color white and counter panel at par sec label hmm. okay also uh, let's make a uh, integer variable name this as cookie counter so this is basically the number of the cookies that you have right now and probably i'm gonna set the default number of this cookie so it starts from zero and we're gonna display this cookie counter on this counter label so cookie counter and plus maybe like this okay let's check this hmm okay so yeah but as you can see the font size is quite small so we're gonna set a new font by ourselves and set the font size as well so that's the next step and I think I'm gonna create another method around here and name this create font and uh, for this program we're gonna use uh, two fonts and uh, the clear font here uh, like font 1 and font 2 and import this font and here we can initialize the font here font 1 equal new font and this time I'm gonna use this one Comic Sans MS and font frame and font 1 is uh, size 32 and font 2 this is also Comic Sans MS and this one is uh, 15 so a bit smaller and uh, for this counter we're gonna use this font one so here counter label counter label set font and font one and for this parsec label we're gonna use a bit smaller font so label uh, set font and font two okay and so let's change this panel color from blue to black since you know we already know where it is so black 
and also okay let's call this create font from here font so before this create ui otherwise you cannot use this font in this method create ui method so yeah okay so let's check this program hmm so like this so zero cookies and so we used j button for this cookie icon so that means you can click this hmm. so the next step is if you click this uh, cookie then uh, this counter increases so we're gonna make a uh, handler class here class. Uh, I'm gonna name this cookie handler hmm. and implements action listener and public void action forward and action event event okay and import this action event and also this action listener and also here we're gonna initialize this uh, cookie handler handler and name this as a c handler or something equal new cookie handler and we're gonna add this she handler to this cookie button as an action listener or here cookie button dot add action listener and inside of this bracket we type she handler okay so this means if you click this button cookie button then this she handler this choice handler gets called so you can type result here cookie counter plus plus so if you click cookie button then the counter increases by one yeah so the counter increases but you also need to update the number on the screen so we're gonna use this counter label here set text and uh, so cookie counter uh, plus uh, cookie, cookies okay okay let's check this okay let's click this cookie yeah so counter increases 